My name is Jeremy. I'm a physician assistant. I've been a PA for about 20 years. Uh, I'm also a veteran. Um, I'm still in the uh, Army National Guard. Uh, when I was, uh, I'm 49 years old. And uh, when I was turned about 39 years old, I started experiencing some pretty severe pain in my lumbar spine. Uh, the pain was consistent with sciatica most of the time. Uh, over 10 years of having that condition, uh, I had had multiple shots of steroids in my back. I had radio frequency nerve ablation. Uh, I had medium branch blocks. Uh, I had on, I had steroid, uh, oral steroid courses. I had been in physical therapy doing core strengthening for two and a half years. I bought a new bed. I got rid of old boots and purchased the best, uh, support I could for my, for my back. Um, I stopped running. I used to be a runner and a weight trainer and I had an acquired scoliosis that was worsened by being overseas and doing all sorts of inappropriate stuff for someone who has a scoli an acquired scoliosis. Um, I had severe degenerative joint disease after several MRIs. I've had about four of them now in the course of 10 years. Uh, each one seemed to be getting a little worse. I had um, stenosis, uh, degenerative joint disease. Uh, but the one thing that I had that was really uh, problematic was the uh, bulging discs uh, except in my case, at least at two levels, uh, I want to say L5S1 and L4, L5, I had uh, disc propulsa leakage. Okay, so I had actual the center of the disc leaking fluid that was causing chronic and at times acute inflammatory uh, pain, which would then exacerbate sciatica and cause just a constant achy pain in my back. Uh, there were days when I, I just, I couldn't even walk a quarter of a mile without having to bend over, stretch, uh, stop, you know, try to move to get away from the pain. Um, and so I was considering surgery. Uh, the surgeons in the United States, all they wanted to do was fusion. Uh, my scoliosis being in my lumbar spine, the only option in the United States was to fuse me from my S1 to my T10. Uh, which is pretty much just over half of my entire back. And I thought to myself, this is ridiculous. You know, like I, if I got knocked into by a toddler walking through Walmart, I'd be knocked over because I wouldn't have any dexterity left. Uh, I, 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 I said no to the surgery. Um, I was approved uh, for a four level artificial disc surgery uh, in Germany, because in Europe, they have a different pro protocol for who qualifies and who doesn't. They also have much more advanced technology as it, as it pertains to artificial discs replacement. Uh, so, but though I was approved for that, I also realized there was a lot of risks with that surgery as well. Uh, being that I'm going to be turning 50, I entered a whole new category of concerning risk factors. And I just decided that the surgery was not for me. And uh, let me tell you, uh, changed my life in a big way. Now I am a, like I said, I'm a physician assistant. I've been doing emergency medicine, internal medicine, family medicine. I did wartime medicine. I've worked in the prisons. I've worked everywhere. I know what pain is. I know what, you know, what works and what doesn't. And um, the pain that I had that was the most nagging was really at my L4, L5 and my L5S1. It was a very sharp stabbing pain. It was unrelenting most of the time. Uh, December 6, 2019, I had the um, combination of the disc seal procedure, uh, where they literally just, you know, injected, I, I believe it was a biosynthetic fibrin that converts to fibrinogen and then seals off that leaky nuclear propulsa, which really made a big difference in my, uh, my pain level, uh, over several months. It was, I think by, by month three or four, I, I honestly, my pain level went from like an eight or a nine on a daily basis down to like a three, maybe a four. And then there are days I have zero pain, zero pain. Now I, I still don't run. I don't lift heavy objects. I don't put things above my shoulders. I'm smart about what I do. I continue to do my exercises and strengthen my back. I have a low sugar diet and all these things are important. But I was doing all those things before I had disc seal. And the only one thing that really made a huge difference was the disc seal. And I, I have to say that 
that that has been an incredible uh, blessing in my life because after 10 years and having seen all the experts and seen all the, had so many procedures done, this is the one thing that really made a huge difference and no surgery, I might add, and no side effects. So, I mean, I highly recommend this. I think people should really, really, before they consider surgery, understand that when you take out discs, you weaken the, the remaining discs and you're going to bulge again. When you have a laminectomy, you're just making more space for more discs to blow out again. These are not ideal surgical procedures. They make a lot of money, but they don't make a lot of improvement in people's lives. And one other thing I'd like to say is thank you to Dr. Pearl and her team of uh, nurses and assistants and secretaries and case managers. Uh, it was an incredibly professional organization. Uh, everything was done in a timely format uh, with a lot of attention paid to my comfort before, after, during, and, and even on my follow-ups. Uh, I was very impressed with the team. Um, and I'd like to say thank you to Dr. Kevin Pauza, who uh, actually was there uh, and um, also participated in the disc seal. Uh, he's the, the, the inventor. Uh, and I'm very thankful to him and his team. And uh, it was a real it was a real honor and I feel so, so happy that I've met everybody and I look forward to uh, continuing this relationship.